And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be showing the current best-in-slot gear for crafters. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, I've actually cast the Adept set as Glamour over it, so it doesn't look like this. It looks, in my opinion, a lot worse. So, you can get the Adept set for blue scripts, and you can dye it any color you like. I've obviously dyed it my favorite color, which is Regal Purple. And the set's uh, items are the best available are the item level 150 gear on the left side. So you have the chimerical felt turban of crafting, chimerical felt doublet of crafting, the serpent skin half gloves of crafting, the dragon skin's belt of crafting, the chimerical felt skirt, the serpent skin shoes, and then you have hallowed chestnut necklace, dragon fang earrings. Hallowed chestnut armalay and two hallowed chestnut rings. And what I'm doing as well is I'm melding them all the same way for the left and right side because you only need certain stats to be able to make basically everything in the game. And so, for example, if I show you any of the master recipes, uh, let's for example go to Weaver. And using the rotation I showed in the 60 progression guide, I was able to buy every single Master Recipe book and the Adept set all in a couple of hours, just uh, making tons and tons of turn-ins for the uh, collectibles. So you can see here, required control 589, we have 608, and let's see if there's any other item. There's some items which require a certain amount of... Uh, synthesis. So I was trying to remember which ones those were. Let's see. Control, control, control. So where is the synthesis item? So, so there is an item as well. I'm trying to remember where it was. That does have a certain requirement for. Here we go. So I guess the minions have a requirement of 620 craftsmanship. Now, the main hand tool and offhand tool that I'm using, the 150 main hand tools are made from the Master Recipe books, which are the best. And the offhands, level 59, are just available to you generally. You know, they, they will become available to you at between level 56 and 60 anyway, so they're right here, the offhands. There isn't anything better than those at the moment. And what I've done as well is I've melded all of my left side with 5 craftsmanship and 3 CP in every single case. Just for the sake of it, it's not what you need, I just did it for the sake of keeping things simple. The only over melds I've done, as in melded materia not in a guaranteed slot, are the CP on the belt and the main hand tool. Every, every other meld is guaranteed. I've used no rank 4 materials, there's absolutely no point. If you get a bunch of extra ones from finishing all the level 58 and 60 quests, sell them. You could use the gill later. We will revisit how to do the melding when 2 star and above comes out for crafting, but for now this is more than enough to high quality and make any game in the item currently available. And then all of the right side are melded only with plus 3 CP. The more CP we have, the more moves we can do, the easier it will be to make macros and so on. So right now I'm sitting at uh, 300 at 84 CP unbuffed, 776 craftsmanship unbuffed, and 608 control unbuffed. And what I've done for you guys as well is I've put it all in a spreadsheet just for um, the sake of keeping things simple. So let me load it up. Okay, so this spreadsheet, um, I've listed all the items that I've already discussed and obviously it's a high quality versions that we're interested in. I was able to high quality every single piece myself using the rotations I've already shown. It was very easy to do, it really didn't take long. And I've said main hand tool level item level 150, off hand tool item level 140. I've done all the calculations and all the stats. I worked out that the like the targets were 620 uh, craftsmanship and 589 control. So I, I made this spreadsheet to make sure that with the minimum amount of materia we would reach there. If you have all of this gear uh, without any melds at all, you will still exceed these targets. That's the thing. So try and get this gear, the 
crafted high quality gear will make your life a lot easier. Definitely a lot easier than having the melded set. This is a live spreadsheet. I will keep this up to date as things change. I still need to update these uh, craft control amounts for each craft just to show my progress. And what I've colored in here, here in green are just the um, what I've collected so far. Basically, this is an indication to me. And also, I'm keeping track just for my own geeky, nerdy nature how close I am to the last uh, two luminaries for um, Armourer and Culinarian, because I have every other luminary, and also the new achievements they've added in. If, if you craft high quality 10,000 times on any craft, you will get a master title, so master carpenter, master blacksmith, master blah blah blah. So if you craft 10,000 times, so my closest one right now is actually Alchemist, but you can see this kind of sums up the amount of, like, high quality crafting I've done since A Realm Reborn came out, given that I've got thousands and thousands of high quality crafts in ev on all eight of the crafts. I mean, it just sums up how much I love crafting in this game. Okay, so anyway, like I said, that's the current gear. We, of course, will revisit this topic when they release Red Scripts uh, in patch 3.05 coming soon. And we'll just see how to progress from there when they release more recipes, two star, and so on, and if any extra melds will be needed. But for now, this is the end game in terms of crafting in the game. There is nothing I can't make high quality, and I will try and start releasing more macros um, as I go. And you know, some people don't really like the idea of macro crafting. I only really use macros on low level trivial stuff that I need to make in vast amounts that I can't be bothered to think about. When it comes to difficult crafts, or the top level crafts, which right now is level 61 star, I will pretty much always do that manually because I want to take advantage of abilities like precise touch and comfort zone and tricks of the trade and so on, which I can't really do with macros. And as well, um, I haven't even looked at specialisms yet. So once I'm fully decked out, once I've finished all of making all of the crafting tools for all eight crafts, then I will look at specialisms and see what advantage they bring. But basically, um, you know, we managed to reach this point really quickly. If you've reached this point alongside me or even before me, you know, good job. Very proud of you. You know, I do absolutely love crafting in this game. And um, as well, um, when I have time, I'm going to make an equivalent guide for best in slot for gathering. But more important than that right now is for me to finish the main story, unlock flying in all the zones, because I can't really be an effective gatherer until I can fly everywhere and get to all the nodes. So yeah, that's, uh, that's me guys. That's where I am right now. You know, I can't stop doing this. I just love it too much. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.